I frustrate you this morning in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to raise standard against any conspiracy? Against evil anger? Against evil authority? Frustrate it in the name of Jesus. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please greet somebody this morning and tell the person good morning and go welcome. Tell the person the Lord bless you and I love you. Tell the person I love you. Look at the person and say I love you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Church, I love you. Please sit down. Amen. We are trusting the Lord that the brethren that travel for Christmas and or for holiday, New Year holiday, the Lord will bring them back safely in the name of Jesus. Church, you're welcome. Brethren, you're welcome to church this morning. We appreciate God for your life. The way the Lord has been faithful in keeping you and the way the Lord has been faithful in upholding you we will not take that for granted. So we bless the name of the Lord. I bring greeting from heaven to you. I have traveled to heaven and I'm back. Amen. So good morning. The angels, I should greet you. Just try to do well. Amen. Try to do well. Try to cope. Don't give up. Praise the Lord. Two things we need to do this morning before we we proceed with the word of God without compromise I'm so glad to hear the testimony of Abigail and Ajuma this morning the testimony of Abigail is that she's now in 200 level I'm just watching her growing. I just thank God for that wonderful life. Still waiting to see how God will help her to the end. Yesterday I was reading the news that this our school now has stopped a very done a very good thing. No more Android in that school, Android phone. No more Android, and the students are trying to go on rampage. No more Android phone in school. They should use uh, Nokia 3310. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Some students will leave that school. I know they will not be able to cope with that. Uh, Amen. Please, your children need to be in the children unit. We have a lot of workers there, and that place is comfortable for the children. They need to learn the word of God. Please, when you come with your children, take them there. We have able hands that can handle those children. Their television is there, their film is there, and teachers and helpers are equally there to take care of them. Please don't bring the children to the church, the other church. I let them there, drop your children there. Uh, so, and I want to thank God for Ajuma Ikin who came out to give that testimony. Is it, is it really a testimony or the trouble that the devil has brought into her life? And, and yeah, I think it's a testimony. 
and how cold I had seen her through. Uh, when she was narrating the story, all the things, I, I was feeling in my spirit and I remember how me and mommy normally talk about this matter concerning Ajma and we have gone there to handle this matter several times even in the hospital when the man decided to beat Ajuma, her husband and we were in the hospital with Ajuma on admission and I have to invite the man to come we spent several hours with the man and we both prayed together Pastor Jonathan was with me with Mama and we all prayed and the man agreed that peace had been restored and he returned back to the house with a different spirit very dangerous spirit may you not go into a family that will pull you down they are not seeing the menu. Yeah. The assignment of some family is to pull you down. Instead of encouraging you, they will discourage you. And I just love Lot and his wife. Lot continued, isn't it? And the wife turned back. And she became a pillar of salt. It's a personal matter. What I'm discussing with you now is right on air as many people that have turned to become a problem to their home the Lord knows what to do you are meant for each other to grow coming together to become husband and wife is not an error it is something that God has made from the beginning so why will you now become a problem to the other person is there anything in this world that cannot be settled? There's nothing in this life that cannot be settled. But why are you making the thing so hard? So I went to the house. We went to the house of the man again. And the elders of his church. Me and Mama and Pastor Jonathan and Dignes. Uh, Mary were there. And we settled the matter very well. I will pray. In fact, he prayed for us. The man himself prayed for us. It was a very serious spiritual prayer. We didn't know that it was fake. When we left, he came back again. He came and met his wife. He said, until you need to go to the village with the children and do the rituals. It's a dangerous thing. You know, it's a very bad thing. Don't go and marry a ritualist. Young men. Some people pretend to be wife or husband, but they are they are occultic people. So don't follow them. Let God set you free from their hand. If you have made mistake into the hands of those people, the Lord will deliver you. Because it's a serious matter for you to become a snare, a problem, a trouble in the life of an innocent woman or innocent man. Instead of moving forward and the family moving forward to become great retardation and setting and when Ajuma was talking look at this picture I want the camera to pick this picture very well you can see this picture let it be on air let everybody see it this picture you're seeing is two boys and a girl they're all beautiful did you understand that and it's Ajuma and her husband that came together to have these children and I guess when they were coming together with well, the student, the man was telling her, I love you, I love you. Holding her, holding her very tight. Overnight, the spirit in the family of the man turned him upside down. And said, he's no longer interested of a beautiful woman. Ajuma, can you come forward? Come forward. She raised the prayer point, and that prayer point is for all of us. We need to pray now. Even if it's two minutes, you pray that prayer point. My spirit is actually vexed that a, a woman like this have been brought under a complete subjection 
of the devil to be tortured. The Lord will not allow her to be tortured. The God of men is the God of women. Our God cannot be a partial God. Now, they have to go to the village. And they go to the village. There are some things she has not said here. They have to take her to different parts of Shrine. But the call she has kept following her up. And she has an in-law, a sister-in-law, who is she's equally divorced. She's not just staying in her own husband's house. But she wants her brother to divorce his wife. The, her husband had a brother too. Who is at home divorced? So the family is a family of divorce, 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 divorce. May you not find yourself in that family. Amen. I like what you have done. Tifiakma. As young men and young ladies are listening to me and watching me on air, if you are into a relationship with a beautiful lady, please find out. Don't be taken away by that beauty or the handsomeness of the man. Investigate something. Even if the man is coming out with fire of gold, check something first. Because they can come back and turn to lion in the house. Investigate and find out if the Lord is actually leading you. But if the Lord is not leading you, please don't use your emotion to enter into it. When the children of Israel decided to pick king by themselves, called Saul, even when God did not approve, eh? And they said, we want, we want a king. And the king we wanted was Saul. They, they troubled God. They troubled Samuel. Said, look, give us a king. And the person we wanted is this man. And you know what God said? He said, well, since you say, since they say they want the king, Samuel, give them the king they wanted, not me. Did you understand that? He said, they are the one that want it. And at the end of the day, they got a king. What happened to the king they got with himself? Eh? They suffered in the hands of that terrible man called Saul. Don't go and begin to use emotions and use uh, other things and say the person is a good thing and the rest. You're falling to a very wrong hand. I kept sharing us, sharing to us here. We were in the court. I told us this three days meeting we had. We were in the court. And most of the cases I kept listening. And the lawyer, my, our, our lawyer was there. What was the case of divorce? Divorce, divorce, a young beautiful lady with PhD holder, two, two PhD. She's, she was actually going for the third one. Young lady, I'm not sure that lady is up to 40 years. She came to court, stood with very strong zeal. That she's no longer interested in the marriage. And the lawyer of the man too, he said, look, this marriage is already not existing. The other previous time again, we went. Another lady came and she stood. So beautiful lady. Very beautiful, plumpy lady. You understand? And you can imagine that lady, a judge came and pronounced divorce. I feel like crying there. I said, that is dead already. It's already dead. I felt so bad. And yesterday in the high court, you see, yesterday or three, I was sharing with you too. I was going through a news in FCT about 56 cases in a court of divorce. A week, 56 cases. One court, just one court will be attending divorce case, 56. How I wish our sisters and our brother would not be in a haste. You know, the matter is that time is passing me time is passing and there's no time again need to get married who told you there's no time for you to marry so you will marry a better person wait now why in a hurry to go and pick error how would they take this lady she has a father and she has a mother and they have to take her to the village to go and subject her to a go unknown god and the children have been seized by those unknown god this beautiful children they didn't consult those gods in the village before they had these beautiful children. 
if you are troubled this morning please can we pray a prayer i said before the end of this week, those children should be released yeah. will you agree with me yeah. you need that prayer these innocent children they are innocent they are innocent and we don't want anything to happen to those to this generation the man is flirting up and down doing whatever he needs to do and those children are all, they are under under a very serious trouble can we begin to pray and say lord let the children in the hands of that uh, sister sister in law who is who, who is divorced too let those children come out of her hand please can you raise a prayer point say lord raise this picture to heaven Let's pray this prayer can you raise the standard evil work, evil deed, evil thing consigning this woman we will use this woman as a point of contact there are several women that are passing through these pains they don't have anybody to return to they don't have anybody to run to they don't have uncle they don't have sister they don't have the money to run to anywhere they are passing through hell let heaven let the cold of spring well let this call that I serve who have been defending us let this God arise and defend your daughter Let the children return back to her. The two boys and the innocent girl that are supposed to be the children unit, the student department, listening to the word of God, watching the, 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 the word of God. They are somewhere subjugated under, under a woman that is cursed. Who knows how to cause divorce in a family? Can we talk to the law? Let those three kids become an ark of God let them begin to trouble that strange cause in the land let them be released let them be released in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in Jesus name can you can, listen to me I stress myself to that land where those children are kept. Let the cold, that strange call that has kept them, be on fire now. In the name of Jesus, let the dragon that is there, let the head go off. Let the hand go off. Let the legs go off. In the name of Jesus. And let these children that are innocent be released from that cage. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. These children will come to this altar. And they will raise their hand to heaven. And say they will be released in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus name. Amen. I use Ajuma as a point of contact to other women that are passing through this. In the hands of wrong men. In the hands of wrong men. There are other women too that are very wrong, threatening their husband in a wicked form. But for now, we are using a Juma as a woman. Any woman that is pastoring through this pain, the prayer we have rendered unto a Juma on this altar, let it equally affect them there. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Ajuman. Go back to your seat. Lord bless you. Congratulations. Very soon you bring them here and all of us will jubilate together. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. Amen. Now, the prophecy of the year, please, it's free. It's not for sale. Even if the church has actually used much money to produce it, you need to send it out. 
the one that you have is your personal copy please you need to get other copies and make sure you give it out to one person praise the lord don't come and ask for two some of you can be very smart uh, ask for additional one to the one you have make sure you give that one out to somebody special did you understand that somebody that you know can read we want this thing to get to the villa let it get to the hands of the president of nigeria let it get to the hands of the prominent men national assembly the senators even the white house let the thing get there praise the lord amen so have a copy of this additional copy of this then give it out make sure you give this copy out to somebody one copy to the one you have praise the lord and when you have given that copy out to somebody and they ask you for more please ask pastor the pastors in the church to give you more until the copies are given out complete we didn't we don't copy we don't keep it here for decoration another thing praise the lord amen if you're a student please have a copy of it too i'm going to give it to your vc amen the lord has been helping us for this past three days and today we need to conclude this matter of renewing your covenant renew your covenant renew your covenant with the lord and by the grace of god we started that matter from thursday friday and saturday today the prayer we're going to raise this morning is whosoever want to pull you back again the love you stand for you amen there are forces of darkness evil spirit that does not want you they are stubborn and they don't want you to exist they don't want your life to amount to anything good sometimes you try and try to work hard try and try to work hard you have prayed and you have prayed prayed several times faster several times gone to mountains and hills and river and valley but you still find yourself in sickness no we need to come up together now and let this matter become the things of the past listen to me i i, I will not hold my word we something troubled my heart while we're fighting and fighting over just something that is stupid last year january january 6th or january something year about we had a case in the court concerning our our property here and the, our lawyer stood firmly for that and we got the case and we got our judgment then from nowhere again another big person who say he's big you know why i'm going to bring this story for you so you can get a stand to pray you need to pray why you don't pray over a matter if you don't open up your mouth your mouth will pray over a matter the result will not call you need to talk you need to say something you need to make a declaration you need to make a point and that case became so terrible they kept ter i mean territory me we need to lock this man of god we need to do this to him we need to do that to him brethren and the lawyer kept writing by israel abba kept writing he write he will attack from this i say we don't have another thing to do we cannot use physical weapon say his own is to fight but then we go and fight and bribe all the judges of the lower court and we don't bribe we have a god 
who owns his property. No, as you kept, we kept fighting this matter and kept praying. The matter seems so tough. It looks so hard. And but you know, I'm somebody who is a rugged fighter. I don't give up. Mama knows me with that. I don't give up. I don't ever give up in a battle, in a fight. And I've never lost any battle. There's no battle that I've ever lost. When I put my head, I get it. That's how God has been helping me. And I get my victory. And this matter became so tough. And they told me, some people came and said, Man of God, there are a lot of things that is going on around. There's a lot of things, oh, a lot of things that is going on around. Watch out the children so they will not kidnap them. Watch out and watch out here and there so they will not attack you on the road. I said, No, nobody can attack. Me. They went to court. After the lawyer, uh, lawyer has submitted the case, you know what they did? They not changed the whole course and did not attend to the matter what how he defended. They didn't. I'm just giving you a word. They did not change a course. He changed. He changed a course and took them on away. You know, I'm bringing this matter for you so that you can take your enemy on away. There is a way you can take them on away. Then he presented the case. We went again. And the man, the judge, the new judge now, another judge said, ah, no, this thing needs to be done like this. This is not to be done like this. The lawyer said, okay, sir. He went and corrected it. He came back again. He said, no. Yes, you have done well, but this one needs to be done like this again. Do like this again. Do like this again. He said, okay, sir. The third time he went, he said, okay, this is what I want. And when we got to the place, finally, we got to the place. You know what happened? The matter was not even presented to the judge. And the judge was going to take a decision. And the matter was not presented. And the, the lawyer had submitted everything. And he was already in the law court, courtroom. Waiting for his case to be called. When they called the case, ah, the judge said, ah. The clerk did not bring this matter to me on my office. And I didn't go through it. Can you wait? So I can finish all the matter. The lawyer said yes. I was going to wait. And he waited, waited. And Pastor Jonathan. Wait. You need to wait. When we say fast, fast. When they say pray, please pray. They bad, I'm not a lawyer. But he's a lawyer. That is why he's read. That is why he read. What I was busy doing when they finally called him to come into the chamber. What I was busy doing in the open chamber. They open the, the open court was law. Barrister Israel has entered. And this is your matter. He has to return back. He has to come outside with a language of congratulation. I was just busy. When there is a matter in you that you know is a matter. There's a fire inside you that will not allow you to sit down in one place. What you will do is to keep standing up and keep making pronouncement. Barrister Israel did not know he was inside. But I was busy. Le Mantu Lakula, Israel is inside. Help him. Let him talk well. That thing that he has presented, let them not discover any other mistake again. You know, sometimes when you submit your CV, don't just submit CV. Follow it up with a tongue. And later I just stood and just went out. Israel just came and said, the first thing Israel told me was, congratulations. An immediate answer prayer is Nothing is holding us here. But is there anything holding us here? Is there? Look. 
We want something to remove, to be removed from that thing that has been keeping you in one place. That's the prayer you need to pray this morning. You see, there are fingers that is tying you down. Things are actually keeping you, and you cannot explain to anybody. After moving very far, the thing will not pull you back again to square one. Uh -uh. No. Can we fight it this morning? You know, I, I was so glad when we had a prayer on Wednesday, on Thursday, had a prayer on Friday and yesterday. I was so glad because brethren were actually praying. And they heard the kingdom of darkness actually heard that prayer grace, that those prayer going to be. This morning we want to nail it. We need to nail it. Did you hear that? We need to nail it. We need to fight back. I don't give up. I don't give up until my last breath. Even if they fight, I will still stand to fight to the end. Because I have a God that has never lost any battle. So whosoever has gone to make any strange covenant against you, evil covenant, evil altar, that you will not amount to anything in life. Eh? That your life will be useless and your life will be a mess. Excuse me. Let's fight it again. No, 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 no. We need to fight it back. So you must talk this morning. Are you ready to talk with me this morning? Can we talk to heaven this morning? I have met young, young, handsome men who are intelligent, intelligent. When they talk, they will be bringing their CV. If you need to read their resume, if you read their resume, beautiful. I said, there's no man that will go through this resume. I will not want to employ that person. But he says, he says, sir, I have submitted this resume, this CV in several places. They kept promising. He said they have been promising for the past eight and a half years. And no one has come. He said, and anywhere they go, anywhere he goes to with the resume is the same promises. No results. Who is sitting on that? Thing? Who? Who is the one controlling that that thing that the Lord has given unto you? So let that covenant be destroyed. In as far as that covenant is not of God, it has no original sin. Let us begin to pray that prayer this morning. You will move to different directions of your life this morning. Then you will raise your tongue, raise your mouth, and bring it down. Amen. Are you getting me now? So you must pray this morning. In the book of Isaiah 40, 43, Can somebody quickly help me read, uh, read verse 18? Please, can we quickly go down? Do that. If you are there, can you help me read? Are you there? Verse 18. But the Lord says, He said, Do not do what? Do not cling to event of the past or dwell on what happened. He said, Do not cling to the event of the past of the past or dwell on what happened long ago. Is the word of the Lord. So pick it up. Now, Wait, can you jump to chapter 44, verse 3? I will give water to the test land. He said, I will give water to the test land. And make stream flow on the dry ground. Yes. I will pour out my spirit on your children. I will pour out my spirit on your children. And my blessing on your descendants. Yes. Number four. Then 
They will try like well with weary grass. Yes. Like widows by stream of running water. Yes. Five. Now you stop there. Can somebody help me quickly pick the Yes. Can help me pick the message translation? Yes, please. Yes, please. This is what God says. The God who built a road right through the ocean. The Lord who built a road right through the ocean. Who carves a path through pounding waves. Yes. The God who summoned horses and chariots and armies. I want you to get that point very well. The God who did what? Who summoned horses and chariots and armies. The Lord who summoned horses, chariots, chariots and armies. Yes. They lie down and then can't get up. They lie down but they cannot get up. They are snuffed out like so many candles. candles. Yes. Forget about what happened. Now forget about what happened. Don't keep going over old history. Excuse me. Can you take note of that? Forget about what? Forget about what happened. Forget about what happened. Don't keep going over old history. Don't keep going back over old history. Be alert. Be alert. Be present. Be present. I am about to do something brand new. Tell somebody. Say the Lord is about to do something brand new. Say it again. Say it again. This year, the Lord is about to do something brand new. All those folks, all those old covenants that have been pulling you down will no longer work in your life. Amen. Say the Lord is about to do new things. Don't think about those things that have happened to you. New thing is about to emerge. Father, thank you. Holy Spirit, thank you. I think the Lord is talking to me this morning. New thing is about to come up. New thing is about to emerge. New appointment letter. New houses. Amen. New properties. Amen. New breakthrough. Amen. Better thing is about to emerge in your life. Amen. Say the old covenant can never pull it down. Amen. The Lord has declared that. Can you go to 44? Verse 3. Verse 1. Okay, please go ahead for me. Isaiah 44, verse 1. Yes. But for now. But for now. Dear servant Jacob, listen. Yes, listen. Yes. I you want somebody, Israel. I want somebody to listen. Go ahead. You Israel. You Israel. My personal choice. My personal choice. God, yes. wait, wait. Can you tell somebody and say you are a personal choice of God? You are a personal choice of God. Can you tell somebody again? You are a personal choice of God. Can you talk to yourself? Say, I'm a personal choice of God. I'm a personal choice of God. If you are watching me or you are listening to me this morning, can you declare and say to yourself, I'm a personal choice of God? I'm a personal choice of God. Did you understand the meaning of that? Somebody who is called a personal choice of God has a mark. Of a new covenant, he has a man when you have been declared as a personal choice of God. There's no place you will call that you will not have a breakthrough. A personal choice. I don't know whether you get that understanding. When I say personal choice, what is the meaning of personal? <laughs> what is the meaning of personal? I, I want somebody to talk to me this morning. What is the meaning of personal? Personal. When I say this thing is personal, it belongs to me. Eh? A possessive owner. I am the owner. Personal. Now, he said personal what? Choice. Now, you see, another thing is he said personal what? Choice. 
Choice. What is the meaning of choice? Eh? Do you know one thing you need to declare and put in your spiritual mind as you are growing and getting old until you leave this world? Anybody that wants to make attempts to touch you. You know what I say? He said, do you know that I'm a personal choice of God? Mark it in your Bible. You are a personal choice of God. Can you ask somebody this one and say, you are a personal choice of God? You are a personal choice of God. Your family is a personal choice of God. So you are a personal choice. Do you understand what we mean by that? A personal choice. Personal choice. Choice. So I'm highly privileged that I'm declared as what? As a person of God. You know, person of God are so special. Are they not special? Eh? Are they not special? <laughs> I, I traveled somewhere and other people have been traveling to the place that's Cairo as soon as we landed in Cairo they said ah please we have a personal suit for you and your wife not suit to wear hotel room and I said hey and other people came and they were just giving them one tangle tangle place to go and stay. They said, Pastor John and his wife. We have, they gave us, they wrote it. Say, we have a personal and dedicated suit for you. I said, hey, okay. Then, and they got our bag. We just went into the, as we were moving to the hotel. But I have never seen they gave it to me. I have never slept in that kind of hotel. Chef, the Transco Hotel is not up to that hotel. You know Transco? I have slept in Transco Hotel before. But do you know what I I didn't know that that dry land Egypt, Cairo, could produce that kind of hotel. When we kept moving, I saw the shiny thing, golden thing. They said, and they just the person said, ah, sir, here is the room. I said, how do I open the room? He said, press the, just press the button. Now, not only pressing the button. You know, my wife is a very smart woman. She just quickly went and pressed the button. She went and pressed the button. And the door just opened. And I was holding my Bible in the hand. You don't know when you are called a special choice. You don't know. And the door just opened. As soon as we enter, you know, as soon as we just enter the room, light. The thing just took us to, to on the light. You can't, you don't touch any, there's no any switch that you just on. As soon as we just enter, the thing just, the light just kept on it. I saw bed. We became scared. I said, okay, is this bed meant for us to sleep on top? Everything was just organized. Before I know, I saw a screen. I saw a screen writing my, my name, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. John, Pastor and Mrs. John Tibiaro. You are welcome. You are welcome. You know, and just write and write and write and write anything you want. Please let me put me and the rest I will at your service. We'll give you. I say, yeah. Now, for me to go and sit down on the bed, I was even scared. I see my the trouser or the clothes, the suit I wore was actually dirty. I can imagine that how does heaven look like? Listen to me, brethren. Then, as I was going to reach to prepare for a message in the room, I, I, I can't just explain to you. I just press one button, like just one button like that on the chair. Light just appeared. The next thing is that you say you can take something from something from there, press a button, the thing will just come. I will not be pressing button, the thing will just be coming and sitting on my table. Then when I say this thing, I will. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Do you know what? 
a, a personal choice of God. Eh? Had a personal taste that God is himself is interested of for your own comfort. Did you understand that? Now, before you get to that level, the devil will fight you. He will fight and fight and fight you. I say you must not get to that level. You must not get to that level. That is the, the dream of the devil. That is the dream of the enemy. That you must not get to that level. But if you know what you know about the promises of God concerning your life, that you are what? A personal choice of God. Excuse me. Every negative covenant concerning you cannot stand it. Did you hear that? Even if they are making their incantation like Ajima was talking, even if they make their incantation and say, and they are carrying their flower and carrying their hand and doing their African magic and do whatever thing they are doing and moving here and there, what you say is that I'm what? A personal choice of God. When you are traveling in a public transport and the driver is misbehaving, what would you say? I'm a personal choice of God. When you are in a family and that family is misbehaving, what will you tell yourself? I am what? A personal choice of God. When you are in your business center, any other thing is not working around, what will you say? You say everything about me is what? A personal choice of God. A personal choice. Everything that pertains to you is so special. Sir, can you go ahead? You Israel. Now he said you Israel. My personal choice. My personal choice. Can you call your name now? John, it to be Aroa. A personal choice of God. John, it to be Aroa. The personal choice of God. Wow. The personal choice of God. Go ahead. God who made you has something to say to you. God who made me has something to say to me. I don't know where that is. God who made me has something to say to me. Not God. Not the gods of this world. That has something to say to me. Not the ordinary man on earth here. That has something to say to me. He said, I have something to say to you. God, Holy Spirit, please, before your children will depart from this fall now, that thing you have for them, can you please quickly unveil it? Amen. About how tomorrow will look like. Amen. How their business will look like. Amen. How this week will be, look like. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Go ahead. God, the God who formed you in the womb wants to help you. God who formed you in the womb wants to do what? Can you say, God, I want you to help me. <laughs> How many of us here were not formed in the womb? If you are formed inside bottle, can I see your hand? There are different between people that are formed in the bottle or inside a rubber and people that are formed where? That is the word of God. Go ahead. The God who formed you in the womb wants to help you. The God who formed you in the womb wants to help you. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Dear servant Jacob. Oh servant John it to be Aroa. Don't be afraid. I want to help you. I want to help you. All covenant is broken. All covenant, the evil covenant of men against my destiny is broken. And God says he wants to help me. You know, when God says he wants to help me, can I use anybody to come around to assist him? Say, go to John's house. 
he needs to sort of give to him. Go to Barista Israel house. He is waiting for you. Go and give him so something. Go to Suso Percy house. He desire you. There's something he needed. Go and help him. Go to this young lady's house. Her school fees have not been paid. Her biggest school fees for, for 200 level has not been paid. Was paid. This person's house rent has not been settled. Please go there now. I do know how they come. They will all come trouble. So you say, make a come now. That's how they will come. After after finish here, you they will go. This is the kind of God that you are serving. A personal choice of God. If you are a personal choice of God, which covenant will work against you? Eh? Ah, can we pray together? You are going to scatter yourself somewhere now and face the world as you complete that place. You are going to see, you are going to, you are going to speak the violence this morning. I will show that we close the video. But you are going to pray a prayer. You are going to speak from your mouth as an oracle of God. As I consider everybody seated here this morning to be a prophet and a prophetess. So you are going to speak like a prophet and a prophetess. Connected under this anointing. Then you begin to prophesy with fire. Stand up. Now sit down there. Go somewhere. Fire. Scatter yourself. I don't want somebody to hear your prayer point. Go there and be violent. Today's service is quite different. It's quite different. Position yourself now. The first prayer point you are going to raise. Any rebuilding of altar against you, evil altar against you, release fire now to bring it down. Any altar of evil, that the enemy is trying to erect let there be further destruction let there be further further frustration let their priests not see the lights of the day can you begin to make a declaration that this year 2023 you will not struggle like the way you struggled again last night go ahead and declare recanta liba kuta liba kulia Every evil covenant, every evil covenant against you, every evil covenant against you, against the purpose of God in your life, against your marriage, against your business, against your spiritual life. Can you raise standard? Raise standard. I must be what the Lord says I will be. I'm a special choice of God. So if I'm a special choice of God, any special arrangement from the pit of hell against this special choice of God can never work. Can you raise standard this morning? Say I raise standard against evil plotters. Against the kings of the enemy. Frustrate their work. Frustrate it. This year you must be lifted above strange gods, above strange covenant, above strange pronunciations on your life that has retarded you all these years. A special choice of God. Our God is a covenant keeper. He's a great covenant keeper. He has made a promise upon you. Say my special choice. My special choice. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to make you great. Because you are formed. Before you were formed in your mother's womb. This world has come. And the world is for you to be lifted. Can you begin to click into this world? Click into this world. I am a special choice of God. I 
are possessed by call. No evil covenant against me will stand. I'm declaring upon your life, church. This day, this day, this day, this moment, that your destiny, the purpose of God of your life, will never again be thwarted. You are going to open up your mouth now and raise fire as they are plotting against you this week. Let the fire of God begin to pull them down. Your ministry can never be destroyed by this man. The vision of God upon you can never be thwarted by this man. The evil agenda concerning the purpose of God in your life hey, can never again affect this special choice of God. Can you declare fire in the, in the covenant? I am liberated. I am set free. I am a special child. My children are special children. Shaya la 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 la. Baya da 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 da. Raya da 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 da. by destroy in the name of Jesus by Antale Katu Katu Halia Yakatulia Yakatulia by Atakatulia by Antakatulia Mekanta Liba Kutahilia Oko 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 I am a special child of God you are a special child of God I refuse the frustration that the enemy has brought upon your home. I refuse from this altar of God. I refuse the frustration the enemy has brought upon your life. I refuse the pain. I refuse the pain. I refuse the difficulties. Look on. He had done Mantelena Kohale Nukalu Bahai, the Kaha de Lena Kohandulina to Kahalea, the K de Hekos, by Ada da 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 I refuse. I refuse it. Jesus. 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 I submit myself to a new covenant to the Lord. I am a special child. I am a special choice of the Lord. Visit the strange altar. They have been fighting you to the Lord. Visit it. There are many of the children that are suffering there. Lord, let them be liberated. Let them be set free. Let freedom come, oh Lord. Yata yatu, dayata le kanta le, beyakata la kuda la la, yala le la 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 la. in the land because we're a special choice
the church of God must move forward. The gate of hell will not be able to stand against the purpose of God. You are a choice of God. You are a special choice of God. This week, the breakthrough you have never encountered, you will encounter it this week. The victory you have never seen before, this week you are getting it. Don't take this prayer for granted. Don't joke with it. They are about to attack your children. Cancel it. Say yes. Those children you gave to me, they are special children. Nobody has anything. They have nothing to do. They can't touch them. And your toys and I break the soul. covenant of the evil one. Be I scatter the covenant of the evil one. Break it and scatter it. Destroy the altar. Destroy the temple. In the name of Jesus. Let the stones. Let the blood. Let the trees and stick. May you use it for me. The altar. I frustrate it. I frustrate it. Your foundation. I don't know 
what they've done concerning your foundation. I don't know what they did concerning your life. I don't know. 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 Can you talk to the Lord now? Can you say something to the Lord? Point your hand to the altar of the Lord. I'm seated here. Point your hand. Declare. Can you declare? The battle is a continuous battle. Accept their evil decision on me. Say, I will not accept it. Don't accept it. Don't accept their evil decision. Don't accept it. 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 Don't accept their evil decision. Don't allow them to conclude. Stop them. 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 Stop
sense, you will not progress for your present situation. They are failed. The evil one who says additional new things will be not noticed in your life, they are failed. The evil one who says your children will not prosper, they are failed. The evil one who says the work of your hand will not be established, they have failed. They have failed. They have failed. The evil one has failed. The evil one has failed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. Carry your hands and place on your hand. I command you this morning. The special child and choice of God. I command you this morning as you are stepping out into this new week. You are stepping out with a new testimony. You are stepping out to have a counter with profit. You are stepping out. You are stepping out to have a counter with breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, your total breakthrough has come. Your breakthrough has come. And so shall it. I prophesy to your head, to your body, to your spirit. You will not go down early. You will not be useless. Your children will not be useless. The business in your hand will not be useless. Your wife will not be useless. Your husband will not be useless. The purpose of God concerning will be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus. 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 Get your breakthrough. Take your breakthrough. Take your breakthrough. Take your breakthrough. Take your breakthrough. And so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. 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 Your breakthrough has come. So shall it be. 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 Your breakthrough. Take your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Your breakthrough has come. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, take your breath through, take your breath through, take your breath through, in the name of Jesus, you will not be frustrated, you will not be a target, you will have your victory every day, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, for that breath through, your life will not be protected. In Jesus' name, I release you to go and make it and come back. In Jesus' name, as you are stepping out of the hall this morning, you are stepping out to have an encounter with prosperity. In Jesus' name, and so shall it be. Go back to your